So that was Last Time by Trey Songs, produced by Brian Michael Cox, so we'll get started. The chords are, are all either 7th, 9th, or 11th chords, so it's very straightforward and to the point. So let's get started with the, the bass line first. Uh, we're just going to have uh, B, G, E, one more time, we're going to have B, G, E. Okay, now after we have the <coughs> that rundown, and then we go up to F sharp. B, G, E, F sharp. And then we have a little breakdown uh, on the second run. We're going to have B, and G sharp, and G, and then back to the, down to that E, F sharp, and back up to B. And that's the entirety of the song for the bass notes. And now you can add on, uh, later on I'll show you can add on full chords. So we're going to have either 7th or ninths, as I said earlier in the you know left hand section and then when you add in the right hand section you're going to have these very large grouping of chords so we're going to break down uh, the right side so the the melody I'm mostly playing is going to be up to the seventh note right here so when you're playing for example a B minor seventh B and then I'm going to play the uh, seventh and walk down to the fifth and then third interval right here B seven five three and I'm going to play that uh, for the uh, first three chords on the in the bass hand so the B G and E, I'm going to be playing the essentially the B minor 7th the most of the time. And then when I do the turnaround to the F major or F sharp minor chord, I switch it up to A, C sharp, and E. So let's, uh, let's play it a little bit. So, you can vary that chord in the right hand as much as you want. You have a lot of freedom with it because it's simply the seventh chord. Now, on the track, you hear a lot of uh, glissandos and different runs that Brian is doing on the track. Again, that's up to you as the performer, the artist, or the pianist uh, in terms of what you want to do or improv. Now, if you have a, a vocal on top of it, such as yourself or a group, you can also uh, fill in for them and add in different arrangements, uh, spanning octaves up, or you can uh, add some distance by adding uh, an E flat, or I'm sorry, E, or um, making a sus chord if you want. But it's all relative to that B minor 7th chord in which you can add your own variations. Uh, with the B minor 7th, uh, as I said, once you add it up, when it's all said and done, the first chord, you're going to have uh, B minor here, your first run. Then the second chord, when you think about it, it is really a G major ninth. So G, B, D, F sharp, and A. And that's a G major ninth that I'm playing as a second interval. When we add in the bass hand again, we're going to have E. Again, ninth, E, B, D, F sharp, and A. So maybe not exactly, <coughs> sorry, yes, it's a ninth. So E, B, D, F sharp, and A. 
And now the next chord we're going to have F sharp minor 7th, F, A, C sharp, E. And the next chord we're playing is going to be a walk down of uh, B minor 7th, E major with a G sharp bass, which is G, B, D, F sharp. So when we do the uh, dissonance right here, we resolve it by going back up or going back down to G major 7th and down to the E minor chord and back up to F and back to B. So very slowly once again. The walk down, B, E, and G, E, F sharp, and B minor. Now when I play that turnaround for the G major, or right here, I'm uh, shifting down from the B minor 7th and just playing a standard G major 7th chord. Now I could play the 9th if I wanted to after the turnaround and then get back to the main groove of, of E minor, F sharp minor, 7th. Now again there's different variations that we can go over or, or do but I, I really leave that up to you in terms of your performance and what you want to achieve out of this. So one more time from the top, B minor 7th, G, E, F, seventh. So this entire song is basically an exercise in seventh and ninth chords. Uh, you have your little dissonant effect of the E major into G, but it resolves very nicely and that's uh, a totally very beautiful switch over and uh, chords are always provided in each lesson and I definitely believe this will be a very uh, quick lesson. Brian Michael Cox, Trey Songs, Last Time.